time to film. I hope I'm in focus, but it's always the battle of starting my videos. Am I in focus? Is it light enough? I feel like I need to move the camera a little too high. Let's come down a bit. Alrighty. Again, I am fighting against the sun. What else is new? I have some exciting news though. I just ordered some studio lighting, so that will be coming in next week. So we're here, we're here, we're here. Studio lighting coming in, studio lighting. All right, yeah, let's start the video. Today's video, I really didn't have it planned and I was kind of thinking, what the heck am I gonna talk about? What am I gonna film today? And I really didn't know and then, a little something interesting happened for the first time. I would say it's like my legit, really, really first time that's like directed towards me. But honestly, it's about the second time it's happened to me. And that is cyber bullying. And if you are a YouTuber or you are involved with social media, then you know that cyber bullying is a big issue right now in society and within our generation. It is huge. It was bad enough growing up throughout my childhood and going to school and being in elementary school, junior high, junior high was the worst, and then high school and then just trying to figure yourself out as an adult and getting bullied in person. But cyberbullying is a whole different topic and it's a whole different issue and it honestly doesn't matter what age you are it will hit you because people let's just be real people are haters and people don't like to see other people do well and people are envious people are jealous people want what you have and people want to steal your sunshine so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and jump right into this and talk about my first-hand experience because it really hadn't happened to me up until recently and I felt like even though I understand what it's like to be bullied, I really didn't know what to say as far as cyberbullying goes because I hadn't experienced it yet. And now it's finally happening. I wouldn't say finally happening, but I knew that it was eventually going to happen. But if you're gonna be a bully and you want to come onto my channel and you want to come onto my videos and you want to spread hate and negative vibes and bad comments on my area, then I'm going to put you on blast. So just warning you right now, if you are going to be a cyber bully on my channel or anywhere near my channel, I'm going to put your ass on blast because I will not put up with it. I already have blocked this person. I thought I did, and I just don't understand where this person is coming from. I don't understand what the problem is with me and what their issue is. So let's go ahead and read the comment. The comment comes from, I don't know how to say his last name, but his first name is Efren. And then can we just talk about his profile picture? Because it's a picture of a hamburger. So are you obviously trying to disguise yourself, mister? Are you even an Efren? He commented on a couple of uh, videos I have and he commented the same comment on each video and the first one I blocked and deleted and then it just showed up again the following morning and when I first read this I was really disappointed so let's go ahead and read it together he wrote your vlogs are ass comma your voice is retarded comma you're not famous and stop posting on usage videos for more views just get the fact that you're a clown and a sore loser Okay, so let's start addressing this and like analyze the comment because I didn't really know what to think about it when I first read it and he's commented a couple of times the same comment. So obviously he's trying to get a point across and I really don't know what that point is. So first point is he thinks I'm an ass, a nice one. Then he thinks that my voice is retarded, which I didn't even know that was such a thing. Second of all, he says I'm not famous and never claimed I was. And he said to stop posting on usage videos for more views, which in that aspect, I think he's referring to the way I comment on FusiTube's videos. I comment on all of his videos. I've always commented on most people that I watch. If I'm watching your video and I'm able to comment, I will comment just because I know that it shows support and it shows that people are actually listening to you and watching you and take interest in what you're saying. Lastly, he says, just get the fact that you are a clown and you're a sore loser. Here's the issue, Ephraim, that I have with you. 
Um, I don't understand what your problem is with me. I really don't. At first, this comment really did bother me, and it kind of it kind of stunned. Also commented on a comment I had left on Fousey Tubes chat. This guy needs business. He has a serious issue with me. So let's go ahead and see what it is. He also said, I had commented on Fousey Tubes uh, video. I said he had did a performance at UCLA. I wish I would have known you had an event in LA. I would have went. I seriously need to meet you again. You've changed my life. I agree with what you said. I didn't know much about your culture since I am a Mexican American, but now I see that you're just like us. I dislike that society gives has given your culture a bad rep. Love you. He is a Muslim and I was being honest, I didn't know much about the Muslim Palestinian culture at all before I started watching him. All I knew was, you know, since 9-11 that they've had a really bad reputation. And since I've been able to watch him, along with Judy and, and April and Justin and other people that are from other cultures, I've really been able to get a better understanding of what their culture is like. So he ended up commenting. This also got 16 comments. And he said, directed towards me. Just stop. Yusuf already gave you a shout out. Now you're becoming greedy and want to get his attention and get another shout out. Here is what my issue is. I want to talk about this because obviously the guy took enough time. I'm just going to assume it's a guy. I'm going to assume his name is Ephraim. If he is undercover in some way or another, trying to be incognito, whatever, it'll eventually... I don't... It doesn't matter. But what's important to me is to understand why this person is taking this much time out of their day to be so mean to somebody. Not necessarily that they're being so mean to me, but that they're taking the time to stop whatever they're doing, to take the time out of their day to criticize me and tell me really just inappropriate and really immature things and obviously the person came from Fousey Tube and I actually went to his channel and I could see his activity that he actually likes a lot of the same YouTubers that I like and we watch a lot of the same YouTubers and for whatever reason he thinks that by telling me to stop being me and to stop trying to draw attention to me that look girl you're not going to get famous you're never going to be famous so just stop while you're ahead. And I just don't understand that. It just really bottles my mind. There are times where I do come across people that I don't find interesting so much on YouTube. Or I just wonder, you know, how the heck do they have that many followers or that many viewers when they're not that interesting or they're not that funny or, you know, they don't have good content on their channel. But either way, that's just my opinion and that's none of my business. If they are putting out content and they're just expressing themselves and people take a liking to them, who am I to sit there and judge them and think that they are not allowed to sit in front of the camera and be creative and do them? I'm not. And this kind of stunned a little bit because it brought back those feelings from my childhood of being bullied and being attacked and being ridiculed for being me. I was constantly attacked by my for my physical appearance and things that I just could not change about myself. I still am and I still get weird stares when I'm out in public by little kids. I don't know why kids stare at me and think I'm really different but they do and I've just learned to not take it personal anymore. Um, for a second I thought wow this guy is kind of right. I'm never going to become famous. It's not going to catch use of attention. So what am I doing? And then I realized I'm not leaving comments on Fousey Tube videos to get his attention. I'm leaving them because I know he reads them. The positive comments really do uplift him and cheer him up because he gets so much hate on his channel. And it bothers me. It really does bother me that he gets so much hate. And... That goes for any YouTuber. I just don't understand why so many of the bigger YouTubers get so much hate. And I have to realize 
that now that I am growing and my channel is getting bigger and more people are supporting me, more people are liking me, there's going to be haters out there. There's going to be haters and there's going to be people that aren't going to like me. There's going to be people that don't think that my content is good. There's going to be people that dislike me for whatever reason. They're going to dislike me because of my nose. They're going to dislike me because of my hair color. They're going to dislike me because they think my voice is retarded. It doesn't matter. The bottom line is, is that not everyone is going to like me. Not everyone's going to like you. And that is okay. It's okay. I've already been bullied for so many years, for so for the majority of my life, that it's gonna sting for a little bit, but it's not gonna stop me from doing me. It's not gonna stop me from loving what I'm doing and doing my passion. And until God directs me a different path and a different way, then I'm gonna continue to be here. So all I can really do right now is just send positive vibes back to that person. As a lot of YouTubers have said, you know, it really does make you wonder what is going on in their life that they have to be so nasty towards you. It really does make you wonder that. And if you are having this issue with people that are in your life personally, the best advice I could give you and to give myself and that I've learned is to block and delete. That's all we can do is block and delete and move on. Because as we continue to grow as people, and this just goes with life in general, as we continue to grow and as we evolve, people are going to hate. Not everybody's going to be there to cheer you on. There's going to be people out there that want to stumble you and don't like that you're getting ahead and are jealous of you and envy of you. And they're just bottom line. That's how people are. That is just human nature. The only way we can change it is by changing it within yourself. So to this apron guy, I'm really sorry that you don't like me and it's okay that you don't like me, but I really just hope that you just stop spreading negativity towards me or anybody else that you watch. It really is a waste of your time and it's a waste of my time to read. And honestly, I just, I pray for these people and I literally every night I pray for the people that come and watch my channel. Our universe is humongous and to know that I am just one small person in this world and if you stumble upon my channel that is a one in a million chance that you stumble upon my channel and that means that there's a reason why you stumbled on my channel and we have a connection and there's something that th that we are gonna connect on in some level. And there's a reason why you stumbled upon my channel. Be yourself and don't allow other people to dictate who you're gonna be. I'm so tired and I'm so done with trying to please other people because if you try to please other people and you try to change who you are just to be liked, it's not gonna last very long because that is not you. You need to be who you are genuinely and if people don't like you, then guess what? They can get out. Like honestly, they could get out of your life and they can move on. I'm done trying to be who I think society wants me to be. This is me. I am sure I wear hearing aids. I have scars. I have flaws. I have depression. I have deformities. And this is just me. And I can't change, um, you know, the physical flaws that I have. I like all I can do is embrace them. And, Thank God that my body works appropriately every day, and that's it. So at the end of the day, if you guys are feeling upset or bothered by whatever hate you're getting out there, just know that it's only temporary, and those people are not going to be there forever to bring you down. And all you can do is just keep looking forward, keep moving forward, and keep doing you. So thank you guys for watching. I just had to vent and let that out. And yeah, I just thought it was really important to just make a video on this because if you want to come onto my channel and leave some hate, oh, we will talk. We will talk. And I will put you on blast. I know that I'm very fortunate that everyone that comes across my channel has been nothing but supportive and loving and compassionate and just amazing to me. And I've made amazing friends and it's been a great time so far. So I do appreciate that. And I know that I've gotten very lucky. So I just want to say thank you to all of my friends that are here supporting me week after week and video after video. And I am not going to stop being me. I'm going to continue to be here and I'm going to continue to be me and talk retarded if I want to talk retarded.
I'll see you guys in my next video. And peace out, guys. Mwah. That's all for our YouTube. And I'm You seem to be related to Rick Grove. I'm in your chat. Oh, that's my cousin. I'm like, she's your cousin. Oh, yeah. <laughs>